Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a game playlist on RetroArch on PC. This is a really cool feature where you can basically concatenate all of your games into one section. You get this nice icon, you can auto attach cores in different settings. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is of course have RetroArch installed and already have it open on your PC. From the moment I just have it open right now and I'm currently here on my main menu. Once you're here, we're gonna be coming to the menu on the left. We're gonna be looking for the import content option right here. We're gonna be clicking this open. And from this point, we have three options here, scan directory, scan file, or manual scan. For today's video, I'm gonna be using the manual scan. Although if you would just like a quick import, scan directory is fine. However, the manual scan gives us a lot more information and a lot more settings. And that's definitely what I'd recommend using. So the first thing we need to do is open this up and then we have a couple different things that we can set up. What we're going to be doing first is set up our content directory and basically set where we want our files to be searched for. So what I'm going to do is clicking this. I'm going to be going to my D drive. I'm going to be going to emulators. I'm going to be going to GBA. And here inside my GBA folder, I have all of my GBA games. Now, of course, you can simply locate to wherever you want. If this is the folder where all of your games are, what we're going to be doing is simply click scan this directory. And then our directory is going to be selected and this is what's going to be set up. The next thing we're going to be doing is setting up a system name and here we can click this open and select all of the different systems available to us. So for me, I'm going to be scrolling on here until I see Nintendo and I'm going to be looking for Game Boy Advance just like this. And I'm basically going to be creating a new section for Game Boy Advance games. From this point, you can feel free to set up a custom system name if you would like. I'm going to be skipping that in today's video, although you can do this if you want to. We're then going to have to select a default core. We're going to be clicking this open and here we're going to have to select a core that's going to be attached and set up with our system. Now for the moment, only cores that you have downloaded will show up here. So if you need to go back to the main menu, load and download a new core, feel free to do that first. Otherwise, I'm going to be selecting my Game Boy Advance core here, VBA Next, although you can feel free to use any core that you want. I'm going to be selecting that in today's video. We're then going to have an option here to select and choose which file extensions you want to read, or you can select the specific ones. For today's video, if you leave this blank, it will also work just fine. So I'm just going to be leaving it blank in today's video. We then have scan recursively. This will be enabled by default, and it's basically going to select all subfolders inside your selected folder. So for example, if you have your game split up by genre in folders inside of your GBA folder, for an example, when this is enabled, it will scan inside these. If this is disabled, it will not. So you can feel free to set this up how you'd like, although I would recommend leaving this on. I think it's the most logical thing. We then have the option to scan inside archives. So if your games are kept in a .zip, .7zip or .rar, definitely make sure to enable this. I would also recommend enabling this anyway. It will make your life a little bit easier unless you have specific things in there you do not want to show up. You can feel free to keep this off as well. The next two options are specific to arcade and MAME games. So you have arcade that file and arcade that filter. I'm not going to be touching on either of these in today's video, although you can feel free to come and take a look at these if that's what you're looking for. I don't really play around with arcade stuff too much. So this isn't exactly what I'm familiar with. And the last thing we have is overwrite existing playlist. So if you already have a playlist for the system you're adding here, you can feel free to enable this and it will delete the old one. This is disabled by default. So depending on what you want to do, you might want to enable or disable this. For today's video, I'm going to be leaving this on, although you can feel free to do whatever you want here. Once you have all this set up and you're happy, we're going to click the start scan option right here. And then it's going to start to scan and search through all of our folders. This can take a couple of minutes. So you might want to be patient while this is going through. And we just need to wait for this to go through. Just like that, your scan will be complete. And now when we back out of here using our right click, we can see we have a brand new Game Boy Advance playlist. And here all of our games are nested inside. Everything here is set up. It's automatically attached to a core. So if I try to play any of the games here, Advanced Wars for an example, I can click run and then my game will start to run right away just like that. The core will automatically be selected and if you're going to be playing a lot of games on RetroArch or a lot of consoles, this is a great thing to do and I definitely recommend it. Anyway guys, I want to give a huge shout out to the members on the channel who helped make this video possible, Bo Franks and Sean Daly. They're both people who have joined the channel and helped support me making my videos. If you'd also like to join them and be shouted out in the next video, be sure to click join underneath any video here on the channel. You can view the different tiers and see what works best for you or seeing what perks you actually need. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to create a game playlist on RetroArch. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, be sure to join the channel as mentioned. Or be sure to drop a super thanks. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.